Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And uh, today I'm coming with you. I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, I've caught a pretty bad case of uh, C19. And I'm just trying to get through the day. But there's only so much laying in bed one can do. So I thought, why not do something that I enjoy? Maybe it'll at least help me pass some time and I want to share this with you guys so this keyboard was released uh, earlier this year uh, by Momoka it's the Momoka Zoo when this keyboard was first released there was a, um, the reviews were very mixed um, not one of them was really overtly positive and then when it was released sales didn't seem to go anywhere I mean now they were supposed to make some revisions to it but I think this is the original one so I'm gonna be doing a couple of little mods on, on the way um, to putting it together primarily the force break mod uh, but other than that I just want to put this keyboard together and and see what it sounds like and see you know if the hype was you know just hype or if it really was good and, because, I mean, I did see <laughs> almost every video I saw, the builder put the gaskets on in a different place. And not one of them put it put the gaskets where they belong in the right way. I mean, Hippia put three gaskets across on each of the, the stabs and mixed the different widths. It's like, no, there's only supposed to be two, one at each end. That's why they were cut that way. Um, so... I took a look at the build guide beforehand, so let's uh, take a look at this keyboard today and see what we've got. Uh, please excuse me, being under the weather, I'm, I'll do my best not to spread the disease over YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so first off we've got 2mm by 3mm Poron. Alright, uh, okay, these are the 2, the two plus 3. So the three millimeters go on the bottom side of the plate and the two millimeters go on the top side of the plate. Now, we do have, okay, we've got some hardware and screws. Looks like we got some extra screws for the case, which is always nice. And then we have, these are the silicone feet. And here is our daughter board. Now, I was lucky enough in this one that they included one of each both a PC plate and an FR4 plate. And I've got to say, most of the times, FR4 is like the perfect medium for me. I've, don't get me wrong, I've had some FR4 plates I didn't like, but I think it was a combination of the keyboard. Um, but I definitely prefer it over anything metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this build. I mean, I, I'll come back to it later, probably and change out the gaskets or um, change out the plate but today I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the um, FR4 plate which looks it looks really nice and here we have the lovely case it looks like we've got I guess that must be for the bottom uh, this looks like it's for the back of the PCB and this is I believe an IPX I, IPXE um, pad for the uh, gotta love how they have the cutouts for the LEDs <laughs> and then we have the uh, PCB plate let's see looks like it goes just like I gotta say the gold and the black I mean I know it's not gonna be seen that much but it does look nice it looks real nice. So it does appear to have screws. Um, I'm guessing that's what those are in there so that you can screw the plate onto the PCP and you don't have to rely just on the switches, which is a good call in my opinion. Let me find some screw-in stabilizers. I'm gonna have to order some new screw-in stabs. I think I'm down to my last kit. 
account. What we'll go ahead and do, like the best place to start at this point, I can actually put you in here, put all you guys in here for right now. Because first and foremost, we have to get these screw-in stabilizers in. There are holes for posts to go through so you can screw in the plate. But what does the IPXC mat do? It covers those holes up. What am I supposed to just punch my own holes? <sighs> See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Uh, keyboard companies need to dog food their own stuff. They need to um, make sure that their companies need to make sure that the products they're selling are you know can be put together because in this case. What am I supposed to do? Um, I believe these are the screws, but they should be going into this, I believe. But all there is is a I've got no idea how these are supposed to work. Because okay, so I put this like this. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just punch out these holes? All right, I'm, I'm beginning to see why this board did not receive um, a lot of positive attention because it's, I hate to say it, so far I feel like I'm building a piece of shit, excuse my French, but I mean, all of these tiny little things start adding up because it's like, the, what were you guys thinking? I mean, like, or like you weren't thinking. I mean, seriously, this is not, I mean, quality control, mm -mm. QC, mm -mm. I and mean, it's like they really just threw something together and said, well, it's got our name on it, so we'll be good. <laughs> like, sorry, but you got to maintain your name by putting out good products, not by just saying, hey, it's my product and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm not, definitely not liking the build process so far. 
Now, if it sounds amazing, I'll take all this back. But honestly, with all of these issues, I'm not expecting much at all from this keyboard. I'll be honest with you on that. Uh, where else? Should be one. There. Yep. Right there. Yep. There's a hole that looks like it could have been for that, but it's in the way wrong spot. So now I need to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with these. Am I supposed to like screw? All right, I think I get how this is supposed to go, but I guess we will find out. Supposedly I'm supposed to put this in here and then put a standoff on here. Alright. Alright, so we've got the standoffs in. Alright, so now we're supposed to come from behind. because I still haven't gotten to use it. <laughs> so, first though, before we put this all together, and while we got this taken apart, with this that is supposed to just stay in place? I don't know. So today we're gonna be trying out the Akko V3 Cream Blue. So I guess version three is, you know, I think the original was CS, then they did the jelly, so I guess the, this is the V3. And so this is a cream blue tactile, it has 38 uh, grams of uh, operating force plus minus 5 grams, uh, 3.5 uh, travel, so it's going to be a long stem. And it does have a nice tactile bump. The tactile force is at 53 grams, so it's right around my alley. But, doesn't sound bad at all for a stock so let's go ahead and flip this over and start popping these puppies on all 
All right, we got the switches in. So now we're gonna put this pad on. Let's see if we can get it to stay long enough to close up the board. Um, so I also need to connect the daughter board up. You know what, I might be able to just do it like this. All right. We've got that in. Uh, let's see if we can get this to straighten up a bit. Of course, it is about to. is now in there. Let's go ahead and close her up. Looks like there's a, from the gaskets, there's a little bit of push, so we're gonna have to make sure that we're pushing down on here. Let's get the long screws. Oh, that's a shorty. This is a long one. And here we are. This is the Momoka Zoo. Built. And. Huh. Really isn't much flex to speak of. I mean. Huh. That's really odd. I mean, there's some flex, but not as much as I would have assumed from a flex cut PCB. But. That's the case. I got this on a really good sale. I mean, it was on sale and I had a coupon and it came out to way too cheap for a, an MT3 set. And despite uh, Captain America not necessarily being my favorite, I just could not pass this set up. So this is MT3, um, the Marvel edition drop. And this is the uh, Captain America. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and start loading these up. All right, so here we are. Here is the built Momoka Zoo 65 with the um, Captain America uh, MT3 set from uh, Drop. Now, I, had I not paid so cheap for this, I would I, I would return this. Honestly, the colors are are washed out. They don't. This doesn't seem like the colors of Captain America. I, I grew up reading comic books and the colors are I mean this is more of a maroon than it is a red and the legend should be white all across the board but I'm not the designer I do like the uh, the profile but I love MT3 so um, a lot of little issues along the way of building this thing and little to no flex whatsoever um, so Thus far, I'm not I'm not very happy with it. I mean, doesn't sound too bad, uh, but I mean, I can take this one, which is <laughs> I bought this one for twenty bucks. See what I mean? There's um, kind of a muteness to it. I'm not I'm not at all impressed with this keyboard uh i kind of figured i was gonna 
encounter issues along the way. <clears throat> like I said, I saw uh, how quickly after release that this board basically disappeared, not because of people buying it, but because of people not buying it and stores just saying, oh, we're not going to sell it anymore. Not sold out, but no longer in stock. So um, apparently Momoka just did not do the uh, proper QA, QC for this keyboard in my opinion and that's why we ended up with what i would say is a mediocre 65 percent um i mean the bottom aluminum is nice the top aluminum is very very light and it could be bent with your hands so if this was under a hundred dollars i'd be like no problem this is almost two hundred dollars so i i would say skip this keyboard it is it's just not worth it in my opinion it's just not worth it and the fact that i had to do all of these changes on my own um cutting things out and double taping things it just there was a lot of little things along the way and the end result of a stock keyboard even with the force break i mean yeah i still got there is ping so even with the force break there is ping inside of the case so my opinion of this uh this kit has not changed i was like i, I think that this keyboard's not going to do it much good um and i was right so i'm going to go ahead and uh leave you guys with a sound test for now wishing you guys are all have good health uh, having covid sucks um and i'm sorry if this video is not as cheery or as good as my regular videos but i wanted to go ahead and put something out there um, see if it helped me feel better so i'm going to leave you guys with the sound test and until the next transmission keep calm keyboard on Okay, I just wanted to do an addendum. Despite my issues with building it, I cannot disagree that it doesn't sound good. I mean, it's it sounds really nice, um, especially for a metal board. I'm more particular to plastic. The FR4 plate, um, we have I mean, barely any sort of um, dampening in there. But despite all of that, I mean, not only... Now, granted, I'm used to the MT3 profile, but this keyboard was easier to type on than others, and it felt nice, and it sounds pretty good. I mean, I, I just got these cream blues, 
and I mean they do sound good on their own but I bet you if I put in some lewd reds in here it would sound I mean obviously not the same but it would sound decent as well so I just wanted to throw that addendum in because I, until I did the sound test did I realize wow this thing is actually pretty good it has some issues in the build quality of it and I still think it should be sold at a lower cost or a lower price um, but despite that I actually like it so I just wanted to throw that in hopefully you guys stuck around after the, the sound test because I usually don't come back afterwards but until the next transmission stay healthy keep calm keyboard on